uh, and uh, our district's plan for how we will handle um, e-learning. Um, the uh, the letter went over uh, what would happen in the, in a, the immediate aftermath of a closing, how we will deliver instruction, uh, special ed guidance services, free and reduced lunch, uh, the 180 day requirement, um, extracurricular activities. Um, I want to also I want to recognize uh, also Ed Ed Braun, our assistant superintendent, Sean Beavers, our director of technology, uh, for an exceptional job and uh, being I, I think we were one of the first districts, maybe perhaps the first, to submit our e-learning plan to the county superintendent's office last Friday, which as you know is a requirement um, for us to count the 180 days um, in the event of a closing. I'd also like to thank Chris Stell, who's here with us. He was a partner, uh, yeah, you. Oh. Uh, and uh, he was a partner, he's been a great partner for us throughout this process, working with, with you know, uh, as a conduit to our staff. Um, we had faculty meetings at West Morris Mendham, uh, and we have one at uh, Central this week. Uh, I think we uh, are uh, hoping we have a plan that we'll never use, but um, we are well positioned uh, to move forward uh, with uh, fidelity and uh, with confidence. So, um, you know, more on that moving forward. It's obviously this is a fluid uh, time, and uh, we're prepared for anything that might happen moving forward. Um, I've also been in contact along those lines. I've been in contact with uh, OEM, our local health officials. Um, and uh, just so everyone knows, we have about three or four different offices of health officials that we deal with because it, we're a region. So, um, so for example, Chester and Washington Townships share a health office. Uh, Mendham Townships health office is shared with Morristown. Um, Mendham Burroughs health office, I think, is in. Um, is it, what is it, Steve? Is it uh, Burns? Yeah, uh, in Burns. Um, so, uh, and, and as my letter indicated, um, one of the things that's critical to understanding in this environment is that the local health office is responsible ultimately for making a decision on whether or not a school is going to be closed. So that's just something to, something to keep in mind. Um, and they've been very helpful. They're, they're, you know, we have good people in place. Uh, our, uh, we, I've spoken to all the mayors very supportive, everyone wants to know how they can help. 